Hello and welcome to yet another video from GymDev. My name is Shaden and this is one of our videos for the slider element in JD Builder. The slider element lets you create a slider uh, per se and uh, just just with very basic options. So um, I'll, I'll have I uh, have three demos in on this page that I'll be showing you. Uh, the first one is a content slider. You have an image and you know you have some content. Now you can move the image right or move it to top and bottom and not have these buttons, not have the content or have the image take full space or remove the image and have the content take full space, however you like it. Or you can just flip it or you can add background image or video to the content. The second one is just an image slider. We'll be using background images and you can see we don't have any content any overlays it's just a plain slider that has a few background images and it works really nicely the third one is a video slider where you can use a video as a background and it works really well you know you have simple videos that are uh, backgrounds and you know you have the ability to con place content on top of these uh, videos if you want to or on top of these videos so you have the ability to combine all three of them into one slide if you want uh, I'm just demonstrating or what you can do uh, with it so let's go ahead and try to edit the first slider because that covers most of uh, what we can do with the slider in the basic options you have the height of the slider which comes in with a few options uh, these are proportional heights you can select what fits your needs uh, the second is uh, slide animation. Uh, so right now we have slide and if I do fade you can see uh, This is how it fades. I can do others as well I'll just switch it back to slide and the third one is the slider width uh, You can do full width or boxed and in boxed you can do a width of 100 pixels or 100% or Whatever you want to do to fit your needs depending on where you're placing this slider It's better to go full width because it'll take full width of the page and you don't have to specify a custom width When it comes to you know responsive settings, you wouldn't have to do that But if you want you can specify the responsive settings as well as far as what the width of the slider will be on mobile and tablet devices the next is the slides portion now in slides you can uh, have a slide with uh, either a background color so if we select a background color you can see uh, or a background image or a background video so those are the three options or you can have none of these and inside a slide you have you have this content section and you have the video section in content section you can do a pre-title a title and a description and then you have the option to do two buttons right here uh, so we'll just increase the content a little so there's the pre-title there's a title there's a description and then you have the two buttons now if you want you can remove these buttons so we'll go ahead and remove these buttons and you can see the buttons are not there anymore and if you do type in anything by now then you have the option if you want to add a link to the button and all that stuff uh, now the media can be managed from the left of the page so there's the media and either you do none and then increase the width and your content will take a full page you know so you only have a, like a content based slide and if you do want to have a media you can have a media or you can have a video too so it totally depends on how you want to do it and you can manage the width between the two so the content can be 50 percent or content can be 60 percent whatever is left will be given to the media which is the slide uh, the image or the video in this case so we'll go back to the image that we had selected now you can select you want the media on the left or the right and you can also select the alignment uh, for the video um, the vertical alignment whether you want it on the top the middle or the bottom towards the bottom of the slide and the same is for the content you can also select the alignment vertical alignment for the content whether you want it towards the top the middle or the bottom and then you have the basic content text alignment where you can select the text to be the center left or justified you know really simple settings if we go to settings do you have the option to remove these arrows if you want to so I'll go ahead and hide these arrows you can hide the pagination if you want to uh, we'll just keep this pagination and you can you have an option to move the pagination inside the content as well so if I do this inside you can see the pagination is inside but outside actually puts it outside the actual slide 
You can do an infinite loop. That means once the slider is over, it will always go back to the first slide or you can turn it off. So the user won't be able to go from last to first and first to last slide automatically. Draggable is really useful. So I'm able to change slides by holding them with my mouse. And this is really good for mobile too, where the users can really just slide left or uh, swipe left or light, right and it will change. Autoplay is another good setting which lets you play your slides in an infinite loop. So I can just say autoplay one slide every second and it'll keep going. And do I want to pause on hover? Yes. And if I turn it off, it doesn't matter if I mouse over or not, it's going to keep playing, which is really good, you know, depending on your use case, of course. Then you have the content styling. Now the styling options let you style the title the uh, pre-title, the title, and the description of the slide itself. And this is applicable to the whole slider. So if you change the title color for uh, the, if you change the title color, it will apply to all three slides. Let me show you real quick. So if I change it to green, it's green for this one and for this one as well. The same goes for pre-title and the description and the buttons as well. You can style the buttons as well. So here we have our buttons. You can change the typography of the buttons, the size of the buttons if you want to, and how mouse over effect they will have and everything. You also have options to do the navigation styling. So if you wanna make these, change the color of these arrows to fit your branding. So now the arrows are red, you can see that. And if you wanna change the pagination as well, you can see that's red as well. So this is really flexible as far as what you can and cannot do. And the last option is a secondary button styling where you can style the secondary button that is added to the slider. Uh, we don't have, uh, I think we have this one. This is a secondary button. So if I make it large, you can see this gets larger and the color is changing or you can do custom colors. The grow is just when I mouse over the button will grow in size a little. So that looks good. So the, these are really some basic options that you can use to create a really good slider. And again, if you don't want any of this content, you can go with the simple image slider and I'll just show you what this looks like. So in my slides, all I have is a background image selected. There's no content, no nothing, and that's it. And I have four of these. So that works really well. And same for the video slider. So in the video slider, you have just the video selected. You don't have anything else. And you know, so I just have a video selected here and no content or anything whatsoever and works really well. And that's it. That's how you create sliders in JD Builder. Thank you for watching.